hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i will be taking us on education in africa but before i start if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel kindly hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and also comment below so now let me take you to my slide education in africa how will be taking us on education in africa so a brief review of the current state of education in africa education in africa has expanded dramatically in recent years the median proportion of children completing primary school across countries has risen from 27 percent to 67 percent between the year 1971 and 2015 the median proportion of children completing lower secondary school across country has also risen dramatically it has increased from 5% in 1971 to 40% in 2015. These are enormous increases. It is a great increase that we have experienced in Africa. They also demonstrate just how far there is to go. We have a long way to go. Nearly one in three children in the median country does not complete primary school. And three in five fail to complete lower secondary school. Africa is the lowest performing region in the world in terms of school access by a significant margin that is for primary completion other countries achieve higher rates some rates greater than 90 percent for lower secondary school some they have a performing region completing at the rate of 75 percent more than 70 percent higher than africans number Median completion rates at both levels of education have been increasing at roughly consistent rate between year 2000 and 2015, and it has been a very low rate, a rate of 1.2% for primary and for lower secondary 1.1% increase. With linear improvement at the same rate, Africa will achieve universally primary education in 28 years and universal lower secondary education in 56 years this is a very slow rate and at the same time the education quality in africa also suffer recent evidence across seven countries in sub-saharan africa found that a third grade less than two in three children could read a letter and only about half of the children could read a word or put numbers in order this is a great setback in africa this is a great setback in africa but in this video, I'll be telling us about the possible solutions to these challenges that is related to education in Africa. Possible solutions that we can use to tackle these challenges that we are experiencing in our education in Africa. My first point here is say mother tongue instruction. Mother tongue instruction. It says mother tongue instruction. That is, if our schools in Africa can use our mother tongue, to teach their pupil. This will enhance the interest of people to go to school and also boost their understanding because they are used to their mother tongue already. That is when a teacher is teaching them with their mother tongue, they comprehend very fast and they understand better. So if we can input this method into our education system in Africa and we start teaching our children with their mother tongue, we can see in China, China teach their pupils in their mother tongue so if we can do this in nigeria because most of the schools in nigeria teach their students with english which is not their mother tongue so if we can use this strategy and start teaching our students with their mother tongue it will enhance their interest and boost their knowledge capa capacity and also i will say teachers policy teachers policy if there is a solid policy for teachers in africa that is we don't just take in anyhow teachers it it is a common thing to us in africa that is we just take in our scholars and people that are able they choose better courses from courses like medicine law but when it comes to this teaching stuff we only find people of less ability and less capacity we only find them in this category so if there can be a policy in africa that is this is a this is the criteria that we need for a teacher that if we don't just take any other teacher we don't just take any other there should be 
if there is a strong policy for teachers in Africa, that is, if you're able to meet this requirement, the requirement that has been observed and has been followed up, that if we follow this pattern, it will enhance our education in Nigeria, in, in Africa, in Africa, sorry. If we can use this policy, it will enhance our education in Africa. So if we can have a policy that teacher comes in through and also stays with, it will enhance our education in Africa. Um, number three here is school feeding. School feeding, we know one of the major necessity of life is food is food if a man has no food you cannot expect that person to listen attentively in class and he can't comprehend we have different natures some people cannot read under stress some people can read under stress but it has been like a common thing and that more, almost everybody can't read and comprehend when they are hungry so if education in africa can input this method of school feeding that is any student that attends school has the right to be fed by the government this will be like a like an attraction like a center of attraction to people for them to enroll in school and also give them motivation and boost their morale if there can be school feeding if there can be school feeding if there can if government can put this in the agenda and plan that is every student is entitled to even if it is only once in a day every student is entitled to school feeding that is the responsibility will be upon the government the responsibility will be upon the school to feed their puppy. To feed their people. We have most we have kids that don't have things to eat at home. But now they are that they have the full understanding that if they come to school, there's an assurance that at least in the day they will eat once. It will boost their morale. It will boost their morale that at least I will go to school. If I go to school, I will be I'll be fed. I will be fed. Knowing fully really that this depends on number one, first being a student. First being a student, this will enhance the the education in Africa and also boost the morale of students in listening and studying because it is someone that has food that can read and comprehend very well. And also, I would say number four, education technology. In Africa, if we can input this strategy into our system of teaching our students with technology, we have different technologies that can enhance that can enhance our education. Like a teacher teaching through tablets. That is, you have materials e e-learning platforms that students can gain access to and and build their, themselves upon. That is, if, if, we, if we can input this strategy into our education system, it will be of great help. That is education technology. If we can input this into our education system, it will be of great help. That is, student enters into classroom, there is laptop for them to access any material they, they need online. They can study they, everything needed. Because we are in a generation and it is then that you will need the big textbook to carry up and down. But now it has been compressed into PDL files. If students can have access to this, it will even reduce the cost of spending. Imagine a textbook can cost much depending on the location. But now let me use Nigeria as an example. In Nigeria, a textbook can cost like 5,000 naira. But when it is being compressed into PDF and inputted into the laptop, it is free. Imagine buying textbook for 5,000, buying like 20 of it. It is very expensive. And it is not everybody that can, that can afford this. But you, comp you can have thousands of PDF on your system for free. You can have thousands of PDF on your system for free. So if in Africa we can use this techniques and strategy, it will boost our education system. It will boost our education system. And also number five, school construction. School construction. I would say if government can put it in their plan to construct good facilities for education this will foster the interest of people going to school and also parents sending their children to school and lastly in my slide here is free education that is money has been the major entrance of people going to school so if there can be a free education for for people 
is to enhance their interest in school. We have many people that have interest in school, but they are not financially buoyant. So if there can be a free education plan for them, this will increase and enhance our education in Africa. I hope you've learned something in this video. If you've learned anything, kindly comment down in the comment box below. And I wait my next video. Thanks for watching.